Hello YouTube, this is the Randy0136, yes that's me, coming straight at ya, booyah, wearing John Cena, you can't see me, nice camouflage, very cool back, this is one of the cool shirts, to be honest, in this video series, I did wear a different shirt to work today, but I'm going to wash it and wear it later, it will get on a video, I just didn't feel like wearing it after the news today, blah blah blah, Jeff Hardy has been suspended for 60 days, people are like, this is just his first time, why does he get... No, it's the second time. Remember the first, a little while ago, friggin' he hurt his neck and he was gone. That was actually his first suspension for drugs. This is his second suspension. WWE gave him a huge fucking push. He got a pin over Triple H. He got a world title shot at the Royal Rumble. I honestly believed he was going to win money in the fucking bank and use it and become your new WWE champion. But Jeff Hardy, as a man, as an individual, last night, knowing he got suspended, came out and put on a friggin' great match with Chris Jericho for the IC title, gave up the IC title, and now he's gone. Three strikes are out. He will be fired if he fucking doesn't stay off whatever it was. Fucking paw, heroin, friggin' painkillers, whatever it was. Jeff, you're a fucking moron. I friggin' enjoy you a lot. Friggin' enjoy your matches. I came on here last August because people were saying you were a spot monkey and started my videos with fucking this, this is a, Jeff Hardy is not a smart Spot Monkey Productions, if anyone remembers. I don't know if they do, but oh well. And um, this huge push, he's way over, he's fucking, you know, he, like I said before, and people laughed, and I'm using the same old line, but if he came to the fucking ring in a fucking dress with lipstick, a fucking wig, and high heels, he would still get fucking cheered. And what happened with Mr. Kennedy last year? He wins Money in the Bank. Friggin' the crowd's going nuts. He hurts his fucking arm. Edge fucking takes the fucking Money in the Bank suitcase from him. He comes back. He's still getting his fucking Mr. Kennedy push. A WWE type push. Young start. Let's, let's push him into the forefront. And then, you know, he's going to be Vince McMahon's son. It was everywhere. Mr. Kennedy. Kennedy McMahon. He gets suspended for 30 days. And, you know, he's, he's still a fucking great mid-carter. But he's not, you know, he would have been, if, you know, he would have been way, way out there. So... I don't know what's going to happen with Jeff Hardy when he comes back, but it's very, very interesting. But it definitely leaves a hole in WrestleMania. It leaves a hole in the gimmick. It leaves a hole in friggin' money in the bank. Who are they going to throw in there now? What are they going to do? Is Kennedy going to win two years in a row? If he wins, is he going to use the suitcase? I don't know. When Jeff comes back, is he still going to be as over with the fans? Or are they going to be like, that's the guy that got suspended for drugs? You know, I was on with a couple people with Skype today when I first got home, and I was mother fucking fucking fucking. Yes, I can swear. Leave all the fucking negative comments you want, but it just was, you know, a hard thing to swallow. So that's just my opinion. That's my take on the thing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Tomorrow's t-shirt video. Promise, guys that I will do my Raw review. I really enjoyed Raw last night, but I'll see you guys later, and take it easy. Bye.